Hey all, Hibber here. So uh, today I'm going to show you one of those battles that just make you hate carriers, uh, like, you know, with a full heart. So uh, if you can't wait to see that, don't forget to like, share, and of course comment on the video if you have ever been in a situation like this. And uh, I mean, it doesn't happen that often, but when it happens, it is infuriating. So uh, let's just have a look at my build here. I'm using uh, Yachino. I just upgraded him here recently, so we put him on. And a Cunningham and Scharnhorst for a full dispersion build, or accuracy build, whatever you want to call it. And then I use Testudo down here as his legendary uh, perk. So uh, this is, I think, my second battle with this guy here as my primary commander. And uh, I must say I like him, especially cru shooting at cruisers. Uh, you can definitely feel that extra 4% uh, dispersion, I think it is. Um, I cannot uh, complain about that. So I've also seen a pretty good matchmaking here at all tier 3s and tier 4s. So uh, it's kind of, you know, fair. Uh, there's no, no tier 5s, and uh, so I'm top tier here. So uh, the problem with carriers, and uh, I mean, it's not that big of a problem, because usually I don't even notice carriers are in the battle, really, until I get a chance to, you know, death strike the carrier at the end. Uh, and it's really only if someone, you know, targets me the whole battle that I kind of, you know, remember, oh yeah, there are, there's actually carriers in the game. Uh, but then, of course, once in a while you get one of those games where uh, the carrier just makes all the difference, and uh, it doesn't even have to be a good carrier player. And uh, I'll show you that in this uh, battle here, which is probably one of the most infuriating uh, losses I have ever uh, experienced in the game. Uh, mostly because it's super unfair. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, I'm not going to spoil anything here, but uh, let's just uh, let's just wait and see. So uh, I have lots of cruisers over here to pick from, and uh, I'm also uh, there's a cruiser with me over on this flank, but that's it. Everyone else is on the other flank, and uh, I mean that's fair enough. That's fine enough. I don't get the same dispersion with this Vietlana here like I did with uh, the other tier three early on in the game, um, but overall, after playing. I think about five or six battles in this ship now here. Uh, I can definitely feel a difference, especially on cruisers, like I said. I mean, sometimes, yeah, RNG says, nope, you are not going to get a kill there. But uh, no, mostly it does make a difference. So I'm just going to split my shots here because I want a double kill on the Omaha and the uh, Svetlana here. So this time I actually hit it, which is also, you know, nice. So that's it, double strike. And I was thinking, ooh, can we make it a, a threesome there? But no, nope, we can't do that. So uh, that's two ships I removed over on this flank here. And I realize this is tier three and tier four. So uh, I'm not going to complain about people playing bad because that's natural down here. And uh, also, I'm also not going to complain about my carrier being like not very good. Um, because I mean, this is where people practice. And if you don't like that, then don't play tier four and uh, tier three <laughs> in particular. So the problem really with carriers is that uh, they're ships that really only can be taken down by, you know, working together. And uh, good luck finding teamwork down here in the, the lower tiers. And um, as much as I don't think carriers are overpowered, uh, I actually think they're quite powerful down here at the, the tier 3. Like for one thing, uh, there's no radar down here. So if you have a good carrier player on your team who knows how to spot destroyers, you're going to win. It's very, very simple like that. And uh, secondly, um, you know, compared to tier seven, um, I think that the amount of planes the tier three carriers have are also quite, uh, it's a little bit too much, I think, um, because I almost feel like I'm in a tier seven battle sometimes when you just get you know, pounded over and over and over by a seemingly unstoppable carrier that never runs out of planes. And uh, I mean, that's, I mean, I don't mind carriers and I like having them in the play in the game, actually. Um, but I just think that, okay, yeah, everything within, you know, reason. And uh, this is tier three and a carrier shouldn't be able to just attack endlessly uh, for 10 minutes, like as you'll see here in a few minutes. Um, I mean, that's fair enough at tier 7, I guess, but down here, I don't think that's uh, the way to go um, from a balance perspective. And uh, also from the spotting I mentioned before, 
um, you know, if you spot that tier three or tier seven, it doesn't matter, the impact is the same. Uh, you're going to help your team out immensely. Um, so I just think if the carriers are overpowered, it's not the legendary carriers, definitely. And it's not the tier seven carriers. It's actually the tier three carriers or the tier four carriers down here uh, that I don't really, yeah, I don't like much. So uh, personally, I haven't really put any effort into carriers at all, uh, because like I said, I don't mind them in the game. I have played all the popular ones, um, Parseval and whatever they're called, and uh, I have the commanders upgraded, but I just don't think it's fun. If I want to play, you know, a game where I fly planes, I can find better <laughs> better games out there that uh, have, you know, a little bit more uh, interesting, uh, you know, well, simulation characteristics, I guess, because uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand why people find carriers fun. But uh, I mean, that's up to them, of course. I can just not play them, which is exactly what I do. And like I said, I don't really, I don't complain about carriers. I think this is probably the f the first video I've done where I'm going to complain about carriers, and uh, I'm complaining about tier, tier three carriers. That's what I'm complaining about here. Uh, other than that, I only complain when people focus me the whole game, uh, which is what's going to happen now, because <laughs> this guy here is just going for me. And I get it, there's only two ships left and the carrier probably isn't spotted. So, I mean, it makes sense. Of course, he should shoot at me. What else is he going to shoot at? Uh, but it, it is a little bit annoying, especially when the planes just keep coming and coming and coming. I mean, we are halfway into the battle here. So he should have been a little bit, if not deplaned, then he should be low on planes. Um, but I just feel like he keeps coming over and over and over here. And uh, I mean, that detracts from the fun, because as you can tell here, this battle here is down to me. Uh, there's two of us versus four ships. Both carriers are still in the game, but my carrier is just... Uh, I'm not going to say he's hopeless, uh, because that's unfair. This is tier three. After all, he probably just picked up a carrier. Um, but he's certainly not going to help much. So I know this is going to be a solo warrior if I win uh, because the carrier is not going to last it the whole match because he's been in the same spot the whole time and uh, if the reds have any sort of you know brain activity they will know exactly where he is because they're just waiting to spot him so uh, I'm going squished by two battleships now so uh, we have to take the battleships out first because uh, they are the biggest threat and again here's the carrier coming and I mean it's just hard when you don't have good AA, and even when you when you have good AA, um, it's just hard to defend yourself against carriers, really, especially in a battleship. It's just annoying. Um, and I mean, I cannot really do anything here because I don't want to, you know, show broadside to the battleship because that would be even worse. So I'm just going to have to shut up and take those torpedoes and give this, you know, 700 XP player on the red team uh, a little bit of more damage. So uh, at least my carrier is trying to torp the New York here, and uh, that's, you know, nice. And he actually hits him. So <laughs> that works out well, so that's good. But anyway, we still have the Alighieri to contend with over on the other flank. And uh, we did get a good hit on that battleship before, so the carrier could remove him, which was also nice. Um, but as you can see, uh, we are down to, it's just me versus these three guys here. It wouldn't be a problem, uh, except for the carrier, because uh, so uh, if you watch here in you know the last or well, the next minute or so, my carrier is actually going to use his last torpedo load of the battle. There it goes uh, to shoot at me. Um, why? What is the purpose of that? So uh, I want this Alighieri to take the route inside the crater here or whatever it is. Because uh, that makes it easy for me to show him, you know, the seven circles of hell, which he should be very familiar with. And at first, just remove this full Taka here that's been really annoying to the whole battle. And again, the carrier is coming with, the f I think that's a full squadron again. I don't, I don't know how he does that. And I don't think that's, uh, it's not fun and it's not fair. And I know carriers aren't fair, but try to keep them at least a little bit in perspective here because I don't know how he can have that many planes this late in the battle. Um, perhaps he didn't send any planes out in the first five minutes, I don't know, um, but it is a little bit strange. So uh, now I'm just waiting for the uh, Alighieri 
to show up and uh, he still has a lot of hit points and I'm quite low so that's why I'm thinking okay I I better use a damage con here and then heal I know there's still a plane above but in case he comes around this corner here and takes a shot I need all the hit points I can I can possibly have and that was my last heal so uh, these 21 whatever thousand hit points here they're going to last me the whole match and uh, we're down to you know it's me versus two ships now. Um, the Alighieri, he shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, but the carrier is a little bit of a problem. I don't even know where he is. And I mean, I cannot last the last few minutes in this battle here on the constant attack uh, by the carrier. And uh, that's what makes me a little bit antsy about this uh, tier three carrier here. Because uh, yeah, I just think it's a little bit ridiculous. So uh, while we're waiting for this Italian here to come around the corner, uh, I can just say that if you saw before how my carrier actually shot torpedoes at me, um, I think that's where we lost this battle because he would he could have kept those planes in the air and perhaps spotted this carrier here, which is actually wasn't that far away. It was just behind the hill, and uh, the Alighieri comes around the corner. I'm just I'm ready for him, uh, and I don't get very good hits there. I think. Uh, a little bit ridiculous actually so uh, we're going to have to wait another reload like i thought i would be able to take him out there and uh, he's also using he i think um i thought i was going to be able to take him out there in one shot and then have the next shot for the whole show here and then probably be able to survive and you know win the battle uh but unfortunately that doesn't you know work out that way but uh i do just line up all the guns. I'm going to get this Alighieri here, if that's the last thing I do. And uh, tell me what the circles of hell look like. And uh, I just need one more salvo here. One more salvo. And I'm down to 3000 hit points. And I'm thinking, ah, I might, I might be able to take one more uh, Torp salvo here. Who knows? Uh, and I'm almost at reload. And then the carrier comes here. And yeah. Did I deserve the win there? I think I did. And uh, did that red carrier player play a good match? No. Base XP is 700. So uh, that's that's pretty bad. So uh, actually, let's just look at the real XP here because that's a new thing I'm going to do. So uh, from now on, I will show the actual base XP of the winning team uh, here in the you know team results. Uh, because Wargaming refuses to make it possible, so uh, I just, you know, subtract 33% here. So, as you can see, uh, MVP of the whole game here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you out there.